Okay, um, today is September uh, 25th, 2021. I'm a residence in Square Hill, Pennsylvania. I'm taking this video because I'm going to title this The Plumber That Wanted to Rip Off the People 22,000 and Change. So, um, I'm not going to mention no names, but uh, uh, you'll find out eventually sooner or later. Who it is. Um, this water heater is from 1998. There's not a darn thing wrong here, okay? Now, this guy was, well, a company, not a private plumber, was called here to this residence. I actually did work for these people. Now, this is an old uh, Penco hot water bore. Now, the only thing I did here yesterday, you can see how to come back, was put a thermocouple in here. I put a new thermocouple. Clean the burners out. I had it running and uh, tested for gas leaks. The flue pipe brought it out. So here's the flue pipe that I took out because there was a little bit of debris blocking the gas. So this flue pipe, let me stand here and out the light, brought it out. So somehow this uh, company came here, they wanted to uh, replace this board. And the water heater had gas leaks, gas line too, over $22,000, it gets a disgrace. Now, I don't know what's in people's heads. Here's the red tag for the uh, people's gas in Pittsburgh. Uh, replace uh, thermocouple in inspection. That's what they found. There was no gas leaks in the house. So... The boiler is old, but it works. It's clean. And uh, they wanted to, uh, I call it, uh, rob the guy. It's paraplegic, which is a shame. All I need was a thermocouple cleaned in a piece of flue pipe and an elbow. So we're going to put that in and then turn it on. To get us some footage here. I'm not much of a Hollywood star, but I start doing this to get popularity in my uh, business and channel. I saw the plumbers doing this good, good thing to do, but uh, I'm going to proceed here to put the new flue pipe in. Over 22,000 and change. Should have replaced that boiler and uh, the water heater and the gas line. And the customer contacted the Pennsylvania State Attorney General, actually. They're pursuing it because I found out that there's other numerous complaints on this company. And they actually have the uh, company pending in court to uh, be shut down. You go to sell a job, you gotta sell a job it's for what's what's actually has to be done, not to uh, take out things that don't need necessarily to be taken out. So I'm going to go out and get my can uh, shop back and I'll be right back in. Water doesn't look too bad. It's clean in the heat exchanger. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back in. 
we're going to be uh, cleaning the uh, dust out of the chimney a little bit here. That's basically all that was in there that blocked the chimney, so... I don't have uh, the filming crew, but uh, I'm using my camcord, so we only had a little bit of debris. This is the, the amount of soot, dust, dirt I got out of the chimney, which was blocking the flue pipe. So, Now you can see looking in there it's not too bad, uh, pretty clean, it's at least over 20-30 uh, years but it's clean. Well, what we're going to do is finish vacuum.
too, I blow through the burners. So if you're a homeowner, you should have this done every year, especially get the steam or hot water. This customer here was referred to me from an electrician why they, the caregiver made a mistake and called uh, another company which I'm not going to name but they wanted to take him for 22 grand and change replace the boiler and all the gas pipes there's some of the gas pipe up there the gas company was here and find no leaks despite the fact that they have uh, cast iron fittings on the gas line Flew back. We're gonna run this. Let's see what happens. You tell me how you can arrive to twenty-two thousand dollars for uh, for a boiler. Want to change the guys? All he needs is a thermocouple. Can't do stuff like that to people. What's the matter? Disabled person, twenty-two thousand dollars. All he needs is a permit couple. Thank you. 
going to put the uh, in there get this in there. See, this all it needed was uh, a piece of flute pipe. in the thermocoupling and try to make a bigger job than what it's worth. What has to be done here is uh, we got to put the a piece under the chimney. I'm gonna pause this for you. It's a little difficulty taking the old flute brush apart, but we're gonna. Get These companies, uh, you know, this should be a warning. You people are riding around these big fancy trucks with your name. I don't give a shit. I'm going to speak the truth here. What do you want people to pay for your uh, diesel and your your painted trucks and your franchise? That's crazy. You can't do this to people. Now, I'm not going to mention the name, but I think you guys are not. Okay? So I'm doing is changing the flute pipe here. We're going to, uh, we're going to put the uh, new piece of flue pipe in and you're done. Okay. So ma ma maintenance, that's all you needed. The border needed maintenance. The guy just wanted to fixed. 
refinance on the property for the uh, shyster con uh, plumber, huh? Anyway, that's what it, the way it goes. Uh, I mean, after so many people, you're going to be called. I think the problem is uh, these companies, if you're a homeowner, they they get caught up in selling, and they think they're actually doing something good, and they're uh, lost in the uh, in the theft process that they're committing uh, theft, taking out stuff that don't need to be done. So we're going to put this in here, you can see, it's, uh, you can see, I don't know, I don't know. that's the flue chimney, it was covered with the, the uh, brick dust from the mortar, the terracotta, clogged it off and it rotted out, but uh, this should be working good now.
connection. And, you know, I'm doing this for me to, because I have a, a, a YouTube channel, but uh, to get traffic. Plus, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you too, you know. I have the basement on video. Right, I'm actually recording now. Just don't mention a company's name that was here. Okay, I have a consent from the caregiver. The customer of this, uh, I think they're, they're going to take is from my channel. It's not for the state attorney, but it's from my channel. But the, the customer's name is Danny Chu. So the caregiver, this is his basement. They were, all, were almost token for a good sum of money. I mean, it's ridiculous so, to uh, verify this paraplegic, the guy's in a wheelchair. It's a shame. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. So, and this is the board, the Chu residence. I just uh, confirmed that it was uh, 22000 and change. They wanted to rip out the gas line, the boiler, and the water heater. Other than that, apparently, I guess, you know, they got ticked off and turned them into the state's attorney. This is all under consumer protection law. When I do stuff like this, I have a contract, I have an attorney. You gotta have a three-day three notice. You just can't give people estimates. They gotta have a contract with a three-day notice to receive. And uh, it's all consumer law, consumer protection. These people were innocent, naive people, okay? They called the guy, company, thinking they're going to get their boiler fixed. All they wanted the heat, you know. And then they, they tried to take them for 22000 Competition today's day and age, 
making uh, plumbing uh, productions is a good uh, market for Especially if you get a website. Now, as you can see here, I replaced the uh, the flute pipe. I'm going to screw it together. Six inch flute, it's pen coat board, standing pilot now. And uh, Jimmy looks good. I'm going to flip my screen here. You have any questions about your borders in Pittsburgh? Give me a call. If anybody in Pittsburgh's watching this, and they uh, didn't give a little bit of slope, it was bent down. Made a quick adjustment.
get this screwed on, go ahead and turn it on. We'll turn it on here shortly. I gotta, I gotta just finish the blue pipe. Give me five minutes and we'll t I'll tell you when to turn it on.
Now it's going to light, hold the pilot. We're going to turn it on and check it. Okay, I want you to turn the thermostat up. Yeah, go ahead. I'll turn the breaker on. The vent damper is working. I put my sticker on here. Next year I'll be here cleaning it. Then the other company either be out of business or won't won't be cleaning nothing. You're probably going to have to turn it up to uh, 80. What's your room temperature? Okay, it's coming on. All right, I'm going to test it for CO with my tester. <coughs> and we have ignition. You can see we've got the uh, good flames. I can get in there. Clean, clean, uh, blue flames. I clean the burners out. Put this back on. I'm running uh, the, the CO. CO tester to make sure everything's okay. So that's got to run for about 20 minutes. EV screws are a little bit loose because when they heat up, they get locked in. If you tighten them tight, you won't be able to take them out. This got to take, uh, this is going to take about 15 minutes to an hour to heat up. It's got to heat, circulate and heat the whole house. So don't run your thing, uh, because if you, if you run the uh, heat pump, it's going to interfere. Pardon me? I cleaned all the burners, vacuumed it, I changed the flue pipe. I'm going to take a picture. i got to cement the, the flue. And put the new thermocouple. I have my CO. It's running good. It's drawing good. I'm making a tutorial of this. I talked to Jill. She said you consented, so... I didn't give him your address. The owner's questioning what was done. Yeah, he's a paraplegic, so he's disabled.
You can see the flames down there. It's running nice so far. We're not getting anything on the tester. It's not spilling. Of course, it's got to run for 20 minutes. So I'll leave that there. goes to show you the dishonest companies that are out there. Pittsburgh, I'm sure they're all over. This is this is probably the worst that I've experienced outside of hearing things. This I verified what they wanted to do. So you know that's a form of theft. They can't do that. And especially the guys that are handicapped. I mean Pretty low to do that. that. That shows no mercy for people. I think it's disgusting to tell you the truth. To try to rip off somebody like that. Especially a handicapped person. If you choose to do that, that's your on your own. Well, maybe maybe what I'll do is uh, I gotta go out and get some more cement. I'll be right back. He just the customer just mentioned the company's name. I'm not because the videos. I'm on a channel, but I can't stop on the speaker. I'll be writing.
okay. Come back. Customers or anybody sees it, so they get in Pittsburgh. They don't get uh, scammed when these people come into their house if they're still around. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video of him telling what they wanted to do. Yeah, I'm cementing the flu. I'm doing a test on the. Uh, the draft to make sure everything's drawing, you know. There's no leakage, spillage. I also realize you're doing a lot of labor today. Who, me? Yeah, so if the price goes up to 300 or more, I, I understand. I'm no, I'm going to keep the price. I, I I parked that on the sidewalk. That's it's taking me longer to walk in. Okay. Next time I'll see if I can uh, fit my truck in your driveway. I'm not going to show you. I think this is a very, uh, this has to be the worst uh, encounter that I ever came on that somebody wanted to get scammed. Well, you know, it's a good thing that uh, you didn't get involved because all it needed was the thermocouple and clean in the flu pipe. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. The board, this should be checked every fall. 
Where are you moving? Manchester, the north side. The house is smaller. You're buying a new house? Yeah, the property taxes will be less. That's why I have to Well, when you go to Manchester, if you have radiator heat, call me. They say they have forced air heat there. Can you work on that or not? No, I don't do, I only do radiator, steam and hot water. I can give you somebody. Are you buying a house or renting? Buying it. We're at Manchester. Huh? We're at Manchester. Uh, 1024 Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, that's nice. And when you go in there? So you're selling this? How do you how did you find the house? My brother's been looking in jail for his months. So those people are gonna move out, you bought it, you're gonna buy it. That's right. Now what do you have to do? Remodel it for the bathroom? Yeah, so I have a here. so I can get it from the outside. What's the state help you with that? No, I gotta pay it. So I guess you're gonna call me for the plumbing. Are you going to call me for the plumbing? Okay. There's a water issue with dampness in the basement. Where? Can you, can you uh, solve that? French drain, yeah. All right, I'm going to clean up here. Right. We're going to give us another 10 more minutes. I don't see any problems with the... Uh... Let me turn it back on. Runs be good to boil. Do you have a broom down here? Uh, uh, maybe in the corner over by the, uh, the, the basement near the uh, washing machine. Yeah, I see. See, it's not spilling, it's... Been running for about 15 minutes. That's all the boiler needed was clean, thermocouple, and I put the fluid pipe, you believe me? Can you believe people do stuff like that?
Okay, what do you got the thermostat set to? Well, you can turn it, you know, when it starts to get warm, I'll come up and see if the, uh, the radiators are starting to get warm. All right, the boiler's been running, nothing's leaking, it's drawing very good, and the chimney's cemented. And uh, I got my sticker on there, and I'm leaving. If the customer wants to speak, I'll record them. All right, I'll be up here in a second. Okay, I'm going to carry this stuff out. I want to check the thermostat here. I can go some heat in the radiator in the kitchen. Oh, you hanging? Yeah. I want to check the thermostat here. That radiator right there by the window, I can fill it far. Can I get through you? Yeah. Because I have a bucket of water. I want to check you. Set this down here. I took a video while I'm still recording. And, uh... Now, what do we have here? Okay, so... I leave about 79. It's 72 in here. All right. So when you see this get up to here, yeah, you turn this down. What do you What do you normally keep? 74 it? or five. All right. That'll run. All right. Thank okay, you. I'll be right back and I'll make you the bill.